Guys, we got one more thing for you. Look, this is a sneak peek, post credit. <laughs> He's Another. not gonna like this man. There's a good chance he might let out a really bad yelp. So, uh, you know, if you're getting your dog show ready, and the chances of him even all remote, remote, of him scooting around the, the show ring. And what causes scooting? You know, they're talking about the, you know, your dog's dragging his ass across the uh, carpet in your house, is dragging it on the, the grass. Something's in there and he can't itch it like we can. <laughs> the good chances are, you know, you got two main, main, main uh, portrayers. One of them could be potentially parasites. And if the um, parasites, you know, there's one particular type of parasite that kind of looks like a little grain of rice, uh, you know, and those are actually larvae from fleas, believe it or not. And if it lingers around the rectum, uh, it's very, very, causes a lot of itching sensation. And so that, you know, it's not tricurious, it's... Uh, you said yeah, tricurious? It's not, it's not. I thought it was tricurious, but you know, I'll give you the actual term for it, you know. Um, and if the dog is consistently, that could be one cause. The other cause could be impacted gl anal glands. So in the rear of the anus, see that he knows, <laughs> you know, around this section and this section, you got two little, uh, little glands in there, hence the term anal glands. And when they become impacted, the dog needs some relief. And if the dog cannot relieve himself, they will continuously scoot on the ground, endlessly, endlessly trying to express them because they can't express them. Now, if your dog suffers from this, you have to manually express them yourself. And your lube. Okay. I know, buddy. That's not. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there you go. Okay. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Just a little bit. Not too much, you know. Now the bad part is that we're not even done. Oh, bless his heart. Hey, little guy. Okay. We went to this side, now we're gonna go this side. Come here, bro. So you had to hit both sides? Yes, both sides. I'm sorry, little guy. Yeah. This one's got way more. Oh my okay. God. And so, once we're done with that, take our gloves off. Oh. oh. And you can see the smell. Smell's got like this oh. really kind of like fishy, odorous kind of smell but guess what he's a happy boy now he's a happy boy because there's no more now what happened when i first got this dog at like about two days this one was so impacted that it ruptured and when it ruptured it becomes it means it was an abscess form then it just happened so quick it didn't give me a chance so then i had to put him on um antibiotics and you know kept them up on his antibiotics and stuff we've been on top of that he's on a whole different diet he's on a whole different regimen and personally i think he's a whole different dog yeah so i'm uh, extremely happy and as you can see you know no hard feelings right buddy <laughs> he knows i'm doing this for his good you know for his own good so hopefully you guys learned something really quick hey sorry for the uh for the vocal cords there you know good boy Hey, he was hitting them high notes hey. like Patti LaBelle. Hey, put Mariah Carey to shame. You know? <laughs> hey, listen, so guys, expressing anal glands is something that often happens in various breeds. I mean, even when you see a pit bull that has a huge, we call it, we just say a huge butthole, um, you know, that dog could be struggling. But if your dog is scrutiny across the ground, it could be any breed to be clear. You might want to uh, give it some, some we, we, sometimes we give it food, but another time, especially with this type of breed, you just got to... Put a glove on and handle your business. <laughs> Take care of your dogs, people. Take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs>